Hi, this is Emmanuel from EMD Automotive and today I'm going to show you guys how to remove the gas tank out of a 1988 Avante. It works for the same Avante, the same. Uh, I want to say a big thanks to Bill Hurst. I think that's how you pronounce it for the gas tank sealer. And that's the reason I removed the gas tank is to seal it. The car's been sitting since the 90s and uh, you know you get rust and other like moisture and other things in the gas tank and you clog up filters whatnot so this is the tank that came out of it and you're gonna have multiple fittings pipe fittings with hoses attached to them and this is what your uh, your level sending unit is that tells you what uh, fuel level you have and then to know for when I'm about to explain how to take it out there is a fitting at the bottom of the tank. So this is the bottom of the tank and you're going to have to jack up the car and remove it. It will not allow you to remove the tank out of the car. First thing you want to do is pop the trunk. The button is uh, located in the center console. Right, let me turn the flashlight on. Right about here. And then you want to disconnect your battery. And that's why the hood is open. So, you want to get into the trunk, and there are three plugs. Two up top, and one over here. That's going to be connected to this, and that is for your fuel pump that's located in the trunk. Uh, there's a couple, like, zip ties that you have to cut off. Then, you are going to fold the front seats forward and uh, hop in the back in the back the seat part is like locked in it just pops off you just pull on in pops off you set it to the side then for the back part and you're going to notice that it's going to be attached from like dirt and heat and whatnot like the leather is going to be attached to itself so there's nothing holding it here other than a little clip that's on the piece of fiberglass located here and here. So there are going to be two Phil uh, Phillips head bolts, screws here. And you're going to have to take it off. Right over there. Yeah, right over there. You're going to have to take those two off. And uh, then you're going to be able to remove the back rest out. Once you remove the back rest, there's going to be a piece of fiberglass with a trim and I'm gonna show it to you guys it's gonna be this piece right here and these are the clips for the backrest it just slides out after you take the two bolts out and there's gonna be multiple Phillips head screws right along the edge all the way around that you're gonna have to remove and along the bottom so once you remove that you're gonna have to slowly pry away at it because you see like I said dirt and everything over the years just sticks to each other and uh, you want to slowly pull on it remove it then you're gonna on the tank you're gonna have this uh, like sponge looking thing for uh, like, like sound deadener or whatever they put it here for um, you're gonna remove it so you can get access to everything once you got that this peeled off there's gonna be a bunch of fiberglass which I took a trash bag and put all the fiberglass insulation in the bag so I can reuse it later on when I reinstall the gas tank uh, like I said I put it in the bag to save it for later and you want to remove everything on top of the tank and uh, then what you want to do next you want to get outside you I mean actually you want to remove these two hose clamps they're gonna be located right over here on the driver side remove the hose clamps and I use a hook and what I'm sure you can buy this at any part store I use the hook to pry this loose but you are not going to be to able to be uh, Wow can't even talk but it won't be able to be taken out unless you do the next step so you take the hose clamps off and you come outside you get the keys for the car 
and pop the you know your lid off and then there's a leather piece that's glued in there you're gonna have to glue it back when you're all done and then you're gonna be getting to the filler neck right over here that has two Phillips screws in it and it's screwed in there and glued at the same time so you have to have that hose loose and then from the outside here I put my finger through here through the filler neck and just pry at it with a screwdriver and pull hard on it until it popped out it's a little bit of a pain but it's doable so once you get that removed you can go inside and remove the hose uh, this is the gas I took out of it and I don't know what your fuel level is like but you want to siphon most of it out through here so later on when you take that bottom fitting I'll show you earlier you're not gonna lose a bunch of fuel on the ground so back inside the car what you're gonna do next is you're gonna have a bunch of plugs there's three over here and this that comes across the tank you're gonna want, you're gonna want to remove these two they're plugged into each other right here uh, you pry them with a very small flathead screwdriver and then this one same thing goes to the opposite side right here there's another plug and you want to remove it and then there is a little bracket that holds everything together with two Phillips screws here you want to take this off once you got that removed there's a bunch of breather hoses one on the left side one on the right side there's a couple of them on top you want to remove every single one of them off and off the tank so then you're gonna have to go back in the trunk and those three plugs that I was showing you earlier they're gonna be in your way so there's that little hole right there you, you even if I go in the trunk I won't be able to see you because the carpet is in the way there's like a little slice in the middle so you want to feed the plugs through and they run over the tank so you're not they're very tight there and you're not gonna be able to take the tank out unless you feed them back in so you want to feed this back in from the trunk here and then there's this long one the two plugs that I was showing you in the trunk you want to remove these so you want to go back and forth from the trunk here or if you have a helper to pull on this while you feed this through that's even better you get these two off then what you want to do is you can either remove the straps now or remove them next but you want to go at the bottom of the tank and you want to have a like a catch pan and there's a fitting here a pipe fitting with a 90 on it on a uh, hose another you know breathe it's not a breather hose more like a it's probably the fuel pump feed I have no idea where it runs there's so many hoses on this thing but there's another hose and that's directly at the bottom of the tank so what you want to do is remove the hose and catch the rest of the fuel out of the tank and you know into your catch pan uh, then you're gonna use a 916 to remove the fitting off the tank you're gonna there's no space over here the tank is gonna be perfectly you know sliding out so this fitting is gonna catch here you want to remove the fitting from underneath the vehicle uh, like I said 916 will take the fitting out and you know you unthread it set it aside for reuse uh, and yeah I mean make sure your straps are out um, and off the tank and they just sit over here and the tank comes you have to pull it straight out you, you can't twist it you can't do anything if you try to avoid you know the wires on the side because it's hard to feed them through the trunk you know do not you, you can't cut corners you have to remove everything in order for this tank to slide out and I mean yep that's how you remove it and another thing I noticed even though I took the plug out and drained it all when I tried to pull the tank out of it it still had a little bit of gas in it uh, maybe from swaying left to right I have no idea but it's gonna try to spill on your floor through these cavities so when I noticed that what I took I took the shop paper towels and stuck some over here in this cavity some in this cavity and some in this cavity and kind of like 
when I pulled in, sat on these divots, just let it rest there for a second, catch, catch the, you know, the last bit of gas with your uh, shop towels. And then you're able, so you don't get anything on the floor. You'll be able to take it. And you're going to either take it out of the driver's door or the passenger's door. So, that's how it's done. Thanks for watching.